Today, we are going to look into the magnet properties. Let's go back to this figure. The different grades of sintered neodymium iron born refer to the strengths of the magnet field they produce. These grades are determined by the maximum energy product of the magnet material measured in mega gauss Oersted. The N stands for neodymium, one element that makes up the magnet material, and the numbers indicate the maximum energy product. Knowing this grade information is beneficial when communicating with the magnet supplier. Of course, the higher number indicates greater magnet strengths. To gain a deeper understanding of magnets, let's delve into the fundamentals. As you are aware, magnetic fields are depicted by an arrow from the North Pole and extending towards the South Pole. When dealing with same poles, such as North and North, there is a repulsive force between them, causing the magnetic fields to push apart. So, the magnetic flux travels from the North Pole to the South Pole. This illustration shows the formation of flux lines where each line represents one Maxwell. For every one Maxwell per square centimeter, we denote a magnetic flux density of one Gauss. Gauss serve as an indicator of a magnetic flux density measured in Maxwell per unit area. Therefore, if two flux lines exist within one square centimeter, the magnetic flux density equals to 2 Gauss. Conversely, with three flux lines within the same area, the magnetic flux density increased to 3 Gauss. And this is an important concept. Now, one Tesla equates to 10,000 Gauss, indicating the presence of 10,000 flux lines, Maxwell, within the 1 cm square area. So, going back to this graph here, by looking at the magnet data, it's evidence that the N48 grade possesses a residual magnet flux density denoted by BR of 1.4 Tesla. So, 1.4 Tesla indicates the presence of 14,000 flux lines within the 1 cm square area. So, what exactly is BR? The left figure shows the intrinsic hysteresis graph for the 2010 Prius motor magnet across the different temperatures. The BR marks the point where the y-axis intersects with the magnetic hysteresis curve. The residual magnetic flux density, BR, refers to the flux density that remains when the external field strength is reduced to zero. So, a higher BR value indicates a greater usable magnetic flux density. And it is important to note that the BR tends to decrease with rising temperatures. Indeed, the BR is influenced by the magnetic material itself. As you can see from this graph, the neodymium iron born tends to have higher BR compared to samarium cobalt. Also, the BR is significantly affected by the manufacturing process. For example, in the case of same neodymium iron borne material, if it is sintered, the resulting BR, residual magnetic flux density, tends to be higher compared to the bonded neodymium iron borne material. So, how is magnet made? Let's look into the sintering process first. The materials are melted in a furnace and cast into the ingots, which are then pulverized into particles. These magnetic particles are placed in a jig and subjected to a magnetic field while being pressed into a shape, resulting in anisotropic magnets. The ingots are then heat treated in a sintered furnace, reducing their volume by approximately 50% and doubling their density. After sintering, the magnetic properties are checked. Magnets that pass inspection proceed to machining process to be shaped as required. So, how are bonded magnets made? The bonded magnets can be created from various magnet materials mixed with different plastic binders. 
These magnets can be formed through injection molding or compression bonding. Although bonded magnets are cost-effective, they have a lower residual magnetic flux density, BR, than sintered magnets because of the binder material added into them. It is important to note that sintered neodymium iron borne magnets are prone to oxidation and corrosion. Therefore, anti-corrosion treatments such as E-coating must be applied to their surfaces before use. Today we discuss the concept of flux density and the process of magnet production which impacts the magnet's property. Understanding the magnet properties helps you design a better motor. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.